All right, we're going to go super old school on this video this week. I've been having a problem lately with uh, hitting a roadblock, constantly having writer's block when it comes to ideas, planning, and really thinking about what I want to do for 2022. Uh, let's face it, this last couple years have been pretty crazy. Um, so this year I wanted to be a little bit different. I structured myself and my days a little bit too tight last year, and I found myself towards the end of the year being stressed out, having to have time to recover. We're moved into a new house, we're remodeling. So I'm having a hard time getting back into flow this year. Um, so I figured we would start old school. I found some old whiteboards that I've had in the basement and found these when we were moving. Uh, so I thought I would use these to really make this video a little bit different today, but it is really to tackle a problem as to how, do I, how am I gonna organize my week? Uh, so I'm going to show you some concepts that I that maybe you've tried. I've tried in the past. Uh, one of them is mind mapping, and that's what I'm going to use my good old-fashioned whiteboards to do this week. So let's get to the main topic of this video for me. Hopefully it helps you. How do I organize my week? So that is going to be right there at the core in the middle of a mind map for me is how I organize my week. Um, and I'm gonna, this video is going to be kind of a meta um so this has helped me with trying to organize my week and hopefully it can help you first thing that i've been doing is doing more mind mapping um it's pretty fun you know bust out the old school markers and do some coloring just like we did in grade school uh, but mind mapping for me has helped me get those things out of my brain whether that is is a process or it's something i have to do or just content ideas getting them out of my brain and down into just a very loose uh, structure. Um, yes, I have templates and checklists for everything, and I think that that was help. It was actually causing me to get stuck. Uh, so I just would go into freeze mode when I pull up a template and click up. So second thing I've been doing that I carried over from last year um, was calendar coloring. That has helped me tremendously to really see what I'm going to be focusing on uh, for that week. And I took it one step further. Uh, I've been using emojis as well. So colors and emojis, that has helped. That helps me plan out my week to see if I'm getting too heavily focused or not focusing on a particular part of my business enough or my personal life. So for me, kind of going into that um, is all about how do I manage my schedule? And last year, like I said, I went a little too nuts and found myself pretty stressed out because things didn't always go according to schedule but I'm being a little bit different how I block my schedule this year. Um, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So the last thing that I'm doing is using more focus modes and I'm using, you know, things that are built into my phone and my computer and my Mac now of using focus modes to really get into those states of flow, to get those ideas, to get the things, to get my juices flowing, if you will. So that's the main concept of how I mind map this particular video. Uh, again, we're kind of meta. Mind mapping, calendar coloring, block scheduling, uh, and using focus modes. So my big thing that my big takeaways from each of these, um, at the end, we're going to talk about what the main takeaway is. And that's going to be an orange, obviously, because orange is the best color. All right. So mind, ma mind mapping, what is my main takeaway for me? Mind mapping allows me to have a calm brain because for me when things are floating out and just kind of floating around in there and I can't get them out of my head it creates stress for me I'm problem solving in my sleep um, not a good thing calendar coloring allows me quick visualization and that for me is super important because I don't have to really think about okay what is it I'm going to be working on that particular day I know that that color and, and an emoji that goes along with it I know what that is and that kind of lends into block scheduling and for me what I'm doing this year is 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 taking the concept of themes themes for the day and again what I find is there's certain days of the week there's certain times of the day where writing content for instance doesn't really work so I'm going with a daily theme certain days of the week. I know that, okay, when I get up, I come into the office and bust open the studio, turn the computer on, I'm going to be working on creating content. So I get into a different mindset when I'm doing operations or sales and marketing. Again, different parts of my brain 
different concepts for the day, but having a daily theme has helped. Um, so I'm going to take that a little bit further and we'll probably do some follow-up videos on this. Focus modes for me is all about one thing. And that is the constant barrage of distractions. And whether that is, you know, emails, text, phone calls, um, whatever it is, social media, it is all about eliminating distractions. And I tend to find when I'm slicing my brain up too many times during the course of a day and switching apps, switching tabs, having too many tabs open in my brain that it causes stress. And for me, when I look at this, when I look at just how I'm organizing my week, what it was going to require for me, my main takeaway uh, from this video is it's going to require a different mindset. My mindset this year is all about creating and inspiring people. It's not so much about checking off to-do lists and having a bunch of things to do. So hopefully this video helps. If you're not subscribed to this channel and you like this content, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. You know how that YouTube algorithm works. And I'll see you in the next video.